Uh, you're way too young again. But Wonder Woman was out in the 70s and 80s. Boy, what a show. What a show. I think it was Linda Carter was Wonder Woman, if I remember correctly. And anyone who's my age, she used to spin around and she'd come into that Wonder Woman outfit. You should look it up on YouTube. Man, oh man, that was good television. This is the 10 Minutes with Andrew podcast. Welcome back to 10 Minutes with Andrew. Bonus episode. I am, of course, Andrew, and I'm again joined. I'm going to have Mark Jancy. Welcome back to the show. Happy belated Canada Day. Happy belated Canada Day. It was yesterday. I only get a couple of opportunities to wear this special hat. So yep. I said, we're close enough to Canada Day. I'm wearing it today. Howdy, partner. Howdy, partner. J.R. Ewing here. You would, a, you wouldn't that's know. That's a Dallas reference. You wouldn't know who J.R. Ewing is, would you? That's a, that's a Dallas reference. It's a reference to the show Dallas. Yeah. It was on in the late 70s and 80s. Indeed. Yeah. So here we are, another non-sports edition of... Which is... Would you rather? Because of Monday's free agent frenzy, we could definitely we could easily talk sports here, but nope. we're not, not going to. No sports. So today we play Would You Rather. No sports, from no the, glasses. From the, hey? No glasses. No glasses. Can you see me? I'm over here. Yeah, I can see you. you can, ooh, I, just, my, I, can see, I can see you. you can, I'm over here. I can see I'm you. I'm wearing the red hat. Yeah, I can see. My special thinking hat today. So this is Would You Rather, uh, using the... Dilemma Lee game yep. available in the iOS and Android app stores. Just search for, I, I think I searched for Would You Rather and Dilemma Lee came up. It's working for us. Yeah, uh, we're going to go with the party category We're doing again. the party category because... Um, We've tried some other ones. Yeah, if we stray off the party category, we get into some very uncomfortable situations. We do. And I don't want to have those today. Yeah. <laughs> so we got five questions. We do indeed. Play along at home. I will put the questions in the comment section, in the description, sorry. In the description below. And you can certainly fill yours out and let us know what you would rather do in these five situations. Are you ready to get going? I am indeed. All right. So, uh, there's a new button here. I don't know what it is. I guess that tells me it's the party category. Yeah, don't press anything. You don't know what's going to happen here. So, I'm going to read number one. All righty then. Here we go. Would you rather use a stranger's toothbrush forever? I'm almost ready to answer, and I haven't looked at the second part of it. Or, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know which a one. a stranger's dirty underwear forever. That toothbrush. is tough. It, like, it's real tough, but I mean, ultimately. Oh, that is tough. Ultimately. Oh, that is tough. Actually, oh my God, that's tough. Use... A stranger's toothbrush forever, or wear a stranger's dirty underwear forever. You know what? The word dirty is throwing me to the toothbrush. Me too. I'm going with a toothbrush, even though I am utterly disgusted at both options. But we're both going with the toothbrush, hey? Yeah. All right, let's see. Oh, 69% agree. They do. Yeah. See, the dirty threw me. Even wearing someone else's clean underwear would throw me off. Yeah. But, uh, whoo, that's a tough start to the evening. It is indeed. All right, question number two. And again, just in case you're new to the show, you're reading this one. I am indeed. I, I know how this works, okay. trust me. Here it comes. Ready? Yeah. Yeah, here you go. Would you rather the world be invaded by aliens and you join the resistance, or uh, that a virus that turns most of the world into zombies, but you are one of the few survivors? <laughs> I'm going with... Not op- my best read. I'm going with option two. That sounds like a perfect world for me. That, yeah, that's true, <laughs> just, actually. I'm just, me too. A, just me and a few other people, I <laughs> think that's perfect. I'm going to. That, that would be perfect. So I would rather uh, a virus take over the world and turns everyone into zombies except for me and a few other people. That's what we're going with? Yep. Yeah, I, I like that idea. Me too. Yeah, so what do you think people are going to say? Uh, I think they agree with us. Yeah, I think you're right. No! No, wow. No, nope, 47%. So half and half. half yeah, pretty much yeah, half and half. I yeah. like that idea. I'm, I'm getting kind of excited about being left on the world with just a few people. If there's ever a zombie apocalypse... Can I pick who the people are? No. That would be good. I don't think you can. No? 
Because if it's just you and the Mitch strangers. Mitch Marner wouldn't be one of them. I can tell you that. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> sorry. Not going there. Not going there. All right. Here's the next one. Number three. You ready? Yeah. Would you rather be able to relive any memory or suck on your finger to get nice weather? <laughs> you know what? This will depend, I think, on probably where you live. Yeah. We live in Newfoundland, and we don't live here for the weather. But if I could suck on my finger and get nice weather, I'm taking that. I'm going with option B. <laughs> I agree with that. You don't want to be able to relive any memory? No, because then if you are able to relive any memory, it would be like a bad memory. Yeah, but you wouldn't choose to. You'd only relive the good ones. Oh, you have a choice. You could go back and say, oh, last Sunday I had a hole in one. Let me relive that. And you get to go back there and do it again and see it all again. It's true. Right? Or you see a sporting event or a I'm gonna whatever. Go, I'm going to go with the weather because there's a lot more things I can do when there's yeah. nice weather. If you could change the weather just by sucking your finger, go for it. It's a little weird, but yeah. And yeah, people think we're weird. 37% yeah. would suck their finger to get nice weather. This is a strange <laughs> strange game. This, <laughs> this, is, this is kind of borderline. This is, yeah. Anyway, here's number I'm four. I'm nervous for the next one. I'm, you ready? I'm starting to get nervous with this party category. Here we go. It's my, it's my read. Here we go. My read on things. Would you rather be a dragon or have a dragon? Hmm. Have I, a dragon. I think I'd rather have a dragon. I'm quite happy being a human. I could eliminate my enemies. I'm quite happy being a human. <laughs> so am I. Now, not saying whether the dragon is going to breathe fire on you and kill you, but no. I'm going to go with have a dragon. You're going with have a dragon, and the world is going with have a dragon. 69%. They do. Wow. So here we are to number five. It is insane. You ready? Yep. I'm reading this one. You're reading this one. Yeah. That would be me. It is you. Guy in the red hat. Would you rather be best friends with Superman or best friends with Captain America? I thought the or was going to be Wonder Woman, and I was going Wonder Woman. <laughs> I can tell you right now, uh, you're way too young again, but Wonder Woman was out in the 70s and 80s. Boy, what a show. What a show. I think it was Linda Carter was Wonder Woman, if I remember correctly. And anyone who's my age... She used to spin around and she'd come into that Wonder Woman outfit. You should look it up on YouTube. Man, oh man, that was good television. So anyway, back to the question. Would you rather be friends with Superman or Captain America? Superman. I don't have a lot of um, knowledge about Captain America, but Superman is the man. Yeah. Right? So I'm going Superman. You're going Superman. Yep. And I bet you most people are going, yep, 60% went with Superman. So... That is the five questions, but this is a special bonus episode, so yep. how about a bonus question All right. of Would You Rather? Are you ready? Yep. What does it say? You're reading it. Oh, right. Remember, me, then you, then me, then you, then me, <laughs> would you, then you. Would you rather have free Wi-Fi wherever you go yep. or be able to drink unlimited free coffee at any coffee shop? Free Wi-Fi, because nah, I don't, free I don't go to th- coffee shops. Free Wi-Fi is not a thing anymore. It's true. It really isn't. Like, everybody has these unlimited or massive cell phone plans. No, but that's not the question. The question is, if, if you could have free Wi-Fi wherever you go. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't search out Wi-Fi. And no, if, I, if and I'm in a I. restaurant that has free Wi-Fi, which I don't understand why they do, but if I am, I never go on their network. Listen, ever. You see how many people that. So free Wi-Fi phones. is becoming a thing of the past, I think. Uh, so I'd rather just be able to go to any coffee shop in the world and just drink coffee for free. Well, I'm also not. I don't drink coffee. Well, there's a problem for it. So that's that's why I have to go with the free Wi-Fi. So you're Wi-Fi. going with the free Wi-Fi? I'm obligated to. No, I'm telling you, 80% are going to agree with the free Wi-Fi because... Yes, this is a society we live in. Wi-Fi is a thing. So let's have a look at what the Wi-Fi answer was. Oh, yeah. only 54%, but more people still would Pretty go dead. with free Wi-Fi than with free coffee at any coffee shop. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do? That's it. Six questions. That was quick. Six questions. All right. Take us home, son. Ten minutes with Andrew that's closer to ten minutes than most of them are. Uh, we're at 943. We're <laughs> pretty close. If you go fast enough, we'll be out of here at ten minutes. <laughs> Say goodbye. So thank Say you goodnight, for- son. <laughs> so the thank guy you in the for- red hat. So thank you for listening and watching Can I interrupt you one this more episode time? of Ten Minutes with Andrew. <laughs> If you found us on YouTube, be sure to like and subscribe and comment, and we'll see you in the next episode. All right. We'll see you on the weekend. On the weekend. All right. All right. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, 
Be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons and turn on notifications to be notified when we upload new content. You can also connect with us at andrewchancy.com.